So Chris and I are out here on a Sunday. Uh, I'm thinking about the winter garden. And we were debating. I have this agriculture grade um, cover. Now it does have some holes in it, but it's okay. Um, it kills most of the stuff anyway. And we can try and put blocks where there are holes to weigh it down. But I do have a weed barrier that I've been wanting to use and meaning to use. So I saw Sarah and Doug at um, whatever homestead, I always forget. They went to a friend's house and instead of putting plastic down and then the weed barrier, they just put the weed barrier down because it's black and their theory was it's gonna kill everything. I don't know what happened there, um, but just because it's quicker, it's already cut, we have it out, um, we're just going to use this plastic today, so. Um, I know my friends know who Sarah and Doug are and their channel name. If you could put it in the comments, I'd appreciate it. And y'all go check them out and see uh, if they followed up on success uh, of putting just the weed barrier down first. My other experiment today, I'm going to bury some watermelon near where we planted some watermelon as a, kind of a fertilizer because it's bulky and I can so here we are. It's going to be quick and easy. We have all the blocks we need down there to secure this. Oh, everything's coming up great here. The okra is starting to take off finally. Sorry. It's funny in the winter time, we've had this down on the other garden and the, uh, the, the geese really like it because it retains heat and warms them up in the winter time. But there, it's done we just have to put the blocks on it pretty much straighten it out a little bit and uh, we'll be good to go by winter now uh, you can wet this it makes everything die much much faster so um, but this is exactly what we did over here and then we just hilled up this year it's something we hadn't done in the past and uh, everything's looking pretty darn good the corn's a little wonky uh, don't know what's going on there. I did thin some corn out, thinking maybe that was an issue. But the thing about this one that's tasseling now and the one down on the very end that's looking beautiful is that those two I picked, I pulled up and actually replanted. So. I don't know, I told Chris maybe they need more soil on them. I did hoe more soil up on them, uh, but I didn't see any difference there yet. But here's where I uh, laid the ones I pulled. So uh, we're gonna finish this now. And uh, so it'll be ready for the winter gardening. All right, I'll show you what I have here. I have the melon here. And then Chris, he planted squash. Can you see it down there? Let's see. And it's coming up. And he planted, I think, watermelons down here. Which is it, honey? Um, Where's squash and which one's melon? These are coming up there. This is all corn, but um, this is the... The squash and melon you planted here. Oh yeah. That's which right. side's which? Uh, this is the watermelon on the right, and then the squash is on the left. All righty. So. I see the squash. Okay, maybe that those are. Yeah, they're coming up. So Everything's the... coming up. Yeah. So I'm gonna bury some of this melon between the melons, and then the the cucumber has gone crazy. It's full of blossoms. It's very happy over here. Uh, as are these. Tomatoes. Now this is the tomato where I saw the um, squirrel 
grabbed one off the bottom and he ran when he saw me coming as he should but I think we'll be fighting some squirrels over here I mean there's always the option of putting a netting towards the base and making it difficult for them to get in here but the uh, so far the deer line that I put on the other side of this seems to be working fine I don't see any signs of deer or any more damage over here so that's very very good uh, I did see some more scat in the back um, uh, so they are around but we will keep them out of here and for those who use a traditional hoe this oscillating hoe is so amazing but even this nuts edge if I were using two hands, this would be gone. But it just kind of pulls everything right out without a lot of work. This is all one-handed. I'm barely doing anything. So, love the oscillating hoe. All right, now I've finished this. We've got... I've heard a little bit about these... Uh, sprouts coming up there's where I watered uh, planted the watermelon and you can see there's a sprout like right here if I can find it <laughs> where is that sprout all right now I have my glasses on <laughs> here's the sprout right here my fingertip and then the other one is over here so we hope our watermelon trench works well. So there it is. And we'll see. Hopefully it'll feed it for a while. Make it happy. But that's an experiment. We'll see how it does. But, you know, we have... And it may be late. But better late than never. That's what I say. Oh. And so I rough the dirt up around here. Rough the dirt up around both sides of the beds here. Um... The okra is coming up. I could probably use, well, I didn't get this up here, but some stuff near the roots I like to do by hand. And we have a rogue one out of line, just like me. Oh, goodness. Um, and then some that the deer ate, they're doing well. Let me get this one. And... Oh, there's a piece of glass. We're always finding toys, glass, uh, golf balls. It's been an ongoing thing. We have an area that they dumped a lot of toxic stuff in and burned. Uh, we won't put anything there, even though it's been five years now. Um, I hear that sunflowers, if you plant sunflowers, they take toxins out of the soil. So... It needs a giant bed over there, but unfortunately, I put I tried to do deep mulch gardening, uh, the deep bed stuff. I put about six eight inches of mulch down out there, and the Bermuda grass loved it. It, it took over. Looks like a golf course just in those uh, areas of the yard. It's crazy. So uh, if you have any Bermuda grass, be careful of deep bed mulching. So. Uh, Anyway, we'll go take a look at the other garden. Uh, we did kind of an orchard tour. Uh, that video is out. It was just a top five places I buy trees and uh, fruit trees and, and bushes. So you can check that out. But let's go check out the uh, regular uh, raised bed gardens. And here we are at the raised beds. There are tomatoes coming on like crazy. So... I'm so happy. This has been a pretty prolific tomato. Peppers. Uh, these were supposed to be uh, red bell, but they are not looking like red bell to me. I think we ended up with jalapeno. Uh, trim back my eggplant a little bit, so this one's viewable. Uh, I may pick that tonight. I want to make some, uh, some Egyptian moussaka. I don't know. Maybe an Italian kind of stir fry or something. You can see where I uh, put this little plant in, this little runner. 
and I buried it here so that's taken off now that'll put out roots and potatoes that'll be great Chris has steaks for me uh, oh they're right there uh, so we're gonna be staking these up soon the beans we'll see if they'll recover but I have some harvesting to do here tomorrow um, and then the squash is really, really starting to take off, but uh, I see a lot of males. Uh, so, oh, that one's looking good already. Oh, that's a nice one. So, that one's getting big. I'm loving it. This one's good. So, yeah, it's good to see some fruit coming on there. Uh, the delicata is almost ready to pick here. Yum. This tomato is doing well. And the delicata is really taking off. I have pruned back this tomato some. Um, this other delicata is starting to take off a little bit, so I'm happy for that. And, uh, yeah, I planted more beans in here. So hopefully they'll come up. We are starting to get peppers and that is a bell, so good. We'll at least have one bell pepper, hopefully. So looking forward to that. Tomatoes are starting to come in over here on these uh, San Marzanos. So like that. Ooh, this one's really starting to vine and put them out here. So I need to brace this up some. More beans that I planted. I love those beans. I want a lot of them. Tomato Survivor. We pulled one tomato so far off of this. This is the Jet Star. And uh, yeah, we'll hope for some more delicata squash here uh, and some recovery over here these beans are already ready to pick uh, we'll see if this rec I guess it's recovering from the top so that's okay I'll take any recovery at all so that's it I appreciate you watching uh, I hope this helps you if you have any questions leave them in the comments uh, I do respond and hope you all have a good one. Take care and we'll see you later.